come here, but Vincent can talk on your behalf. And also, Wairimu, if possible, you can come. And the entire uh, uh, team from Food for Education. Wame saidia sana. Ikine sitaki kusema. Kwa sababu, wame saidia sana na sitaki watu yegine wachokoza wao. So, karibu sana Vincent, utatabulisha team. Na pia Nick Daniels, kindly come. Na pia watu ya kiharu, Nick Daniels atasema jabu moja. Kwa sababu, nataka pia ya saidike hapa. God is good and all the time ke harune ko ega nyoronia mu nia mu nyoroketie ne mu kureka nyorokie fururi mugima rogo ino dere da to message ya very soon no na yadiketo ke haru masomo bora umeona ime andiko ke haru masomo bora nataka sasa tuibadilishe iende muranga county masomo bora ikuja mount kenya masomo bora mwishowe ikuje Kenya masomo bora tumeelewana thank you sana mheshimiwa na venye tu wamesema december tulikuwa na engagements mingi sana in fact birthday yake tuliisherekea kwa ofisi tukiangalia hii hesabu ku understand hii modele yake kuielewa kabisa na ndio ukituona tumekuja hapa kushirikiana na nyinyi wazazi ni kwa sababu tumeelewa hii program yake we understand na tumeweza kutrain wapishi wote ambao watakuwa wanapikia watoto wetu wa sekondari tumeweza kuwa equip na kuwapatia all the methods ya kuhakikisha ambayo ile chakula ambao watapika itachukua chakula bora sana sitaki kuongea maneno mengi wa kubo wangu wako hapa na nataka kumintroduce uh, mothogo atuambie mambo mawili matatu thank you nikwega Thank you. Uh Mheshimiwa Honorable Dindinyoro, wageni wa heshima. Jina langu ni Nick Daniels, nafanya kazi na shirika la Food for Education. So to my friends sana siku ya leo kufika hapa and pia mimi nina furaha sana kujua Kiharu constituency. If you ask me ladies and gentlemen, what are the three things that make a country rich i'll tell you education 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 meshimiwa ndindinyoro understands that and i believe that today this program masomo bora will launch a revolution not just in kenya but across the continent of africa School feeding is a challenge around the world and it is inspiring to see Kiharu constituency leading the way, showing the way on how to end classroom hunger. So I believe, it to conclude, there are very few people about which it can be said, he changed my life. But today, there are thousands of learners in this constituency who will remember Meshimi and Dindinyoro for changing their lives. Asanti sana, uwe na wiki njema, tumishukuru sana sana. Asanti sana, Nick Daniels, Nick Daniels uh, I have to say one thing about you. Kwa sababu, tumekuja hapa kusaidiana, au siyo? Kuyo mudongo, ana mutu. Simuketaka hapa hatike hapa? So Nick Daniels, eh, tutapanga hiyo, but on commission, kindly. Um, this, the, uh, let me introduce you, Wawira. Hata kama umesema eh, Vincent ame kuwakilisha. This lady is called Wawira. Wawira tumesaidiana sana katika hii program. Kwa sababu, they are very experienced in hii maneno ya masomo. Na diana simamiria hiyo shirika ya Food for Education. This lady is called Wairimo. Na wairimu pia tumesaidiana sana. Hiyo birthday Vincent anasema, my birthday is Jamuhuri Day. Vile tulitoka State House, na raiza kanipea CBS. Hiyo jioni yote up to night, tulikuwa ofisi yao, tukipaga hii murandi ya Kiharu Masomobora program. I really want to appreciate you on behalf of these Kiharu people. Kwa hile usaidizi kubwa mumenipea. Asanteni sana, may God bless you. Na so that niite uyo wapili, 
nimeambiwa kuna watu wanatazama na wagetaka wasikia vizuri hawajafafanuliwa vizuri ni nataka kurudia because i know this is a program that we really wish will also go across other people who can be able to adopt that today we have launched kiharu masomobora program covering all the 60 day schools in kiharu even the boarding schools with day element we are covering the day scholars in this program they are all 14000 learners in kiharu and we have been able to allocate 60 million kenya shillings from cdf that specifically is going into revamping infrastructure in our day schools building laboratories and uh, changing the face of our infrastructure we have also allocated 10 million that is going towards revision books but the more important thing about this program and it is premised on the fact that hata mimi nikisoma nilisoma kwa mashida mingi ni ya kwamba hapa kiharu siku ya leo we have been able to launch another special thing in regards to what our parents pay because in all our day schools today we have rolled out a program where parents will only be paying 1000 shillings per term for the yalanas and this money is covering many things other than the other school issues this money will also cover meals in our schools all our learners will get ile chakula ya saa eh, chai ya makinywaji ya saa 4 they will all get lunch in school and we have included saturday in that program that our learners will always be partaking po, eh, lunch in our schools and in this program we have also enriched the menu that our learners will take rice three days and githeri three days instead ya ile githeri ya mfururizo ambayo wamekuwa wakizoea kwa hivyo nimegetaka nitagazie wote hata wale wanatazama ya kwamba sasa hapa kiharu day school zetu wazazi watakuwa nalipa 1000 shillings per term na pia wale ambao muko na relatives kiharu najua mnatazama na kama your, your sister got married here in kiharu na wewe unakaa kayole ama unakaa laikipia ama unakaa bahari kwingineko hii muradi sisi watu wa kiharu hatujipendi hata wewe ukileta mtoto wako akae hapa kiharu akipata nafasi katika shule yeyote ya kiharo ya day school pia yeye atakuwa kwa hiyo murandi ya kulipa only 1000 per term na sasa tukiendelea nitaka niite senator wa Nandi county mati ningetaka ulete stand senator wa Nandi county anaitwa Samson Teraragei Kiprotich ambaye yako hapa siku ya leo karibu sana Eh bwana asifiwe muriega muko sawa bas ndugu yetu ndindi nyoro viongozi wenzangu wananchi na wanafunzi i want to begin by saying tumefurahi kufika kiaru siku ya leo na naona nyinyi mnapenda masomo wewe hey, mmejitokeza kweli kweli first of all nataka nishukuru sana kwa sababu mlimrudisha ndindi nyoro naambiwa hata kutoa posta so i want to really appreciate na kusema asante na pia asante ya pili nataka niseme asante kwa kuchagua Kenya kwanza ikiongozwa na Dr. William Samuel Ruto na pia Rigathi Kashagwa asante ni sana Mungu awabariki na we are very grateful thank you mno sawa sawa ya pili nimetoka huko Nandi mnajua Nandi na sisi tumekuja kuona hii kazi amae ndugu yetu ndindi nyoro amefanya and this is the real bottom up kwa sababu if you are supporting wanafunzi wa day school to access education this is the real hustlers this is the real bottom up na tunaunga mkono nyoro atoe wanafunzi kutoka bottom wakienda wapi na hiyo ndio mzuri that is even when you look under article 53 of the constitution access to quality and affordable education is provided for under the constitution one dind is doing and supplementing the capitation that the national government through ministry of education has given is very important kwa wanafunzi wetu na mimi nataka niulize wanafunzi waende wasome kwa bidi nimeona iko maneno ya lunch sasa mambo yenu ni kusoma tu kula kitabu kabisa mpaka kitabu yaangamie si ni namna hiyo so we want to really encourage na wazazi asanteni kwa kujitokeza 
there is no greater investment than investing kwa watoto wenu there is no greater equality tool an equalization tool than education that we are seeing today so i want to really thank uh, mheshimiwa nyoro na other stakeholders kwa kufikiria hii jambo na nafikiri in one way or another najua wanafunzi wengi wana report form 1 kuna wala waje report kwa sababu ya shida ya school fees i really want to thank uh, ndindi for this support na nataka nimtakie kila laheri eh, na nimeona pia magazeti kidogo imesema mambo ya cbc na kati kuna watu wazazi wanasukuma grade 7 kwenda class 8 kufanya KCPE badala ya kungojea waende junior secondary school i want to appeal to the ministry of education we want to trust the process na tupatie nafasi ministry of education waangalie hiyo mambo yote ya CBC the president has formed a task force wazazi nataka ni waulize patients ndio watoto wetu wapate quality education tutataki kuna ile unique personal identifier numbers ambaye name is ministry of education wanapeana so i really want to to appreciate that na niwaulize wazazi tukue watulivu tungoje ile report ya CBC ya mwisho eh, nimeona watu wengine wanasema oh mbona rais na naibu anaenda kufanya maombi 80% or 100% of Kenyans ni watu ya dini kama wewe si mkristo ni muislamu na ukiomba iko makosa lakini president akiomba let us pray for our nation sisi wote ni wa kristo na unajua wananchi natakana mjue Tobias na San Balad bado wako area na tunawajua majina let them allow the president to pray and work for the country they are not only praying but they are praying and work for the for the country sindio lakini lazima tulipe ushuru unajua wa San Balad na Tobias ni wala wataki kulipa ushuru tunataka kila mtu alipe na kulipa ushuru ni kuje kujitegemea sini namna hiyo otherwise nimefurahi huyu ndugu yangu is one of the youngest leaders that we look upon na nataka nishukuru huyu ndindi ametembea huko kwetu huko Rift Valley na tunamtambua sini sawa sawa na eh, tunamuombea sisi tutafanya kazi na yeye na wale viongozi we, we, wetu wengi na huyu ndindi pia eh, nimependa huku i hope utaniarakisha nitoke kiharu ni vile mimi muti ya kanisa lakini ningekubaliwa niongeze wa pili singeaona ubaya sana kwa sababu sisi tunataka Kenya ya kwenda mbele so we are praying for Ndindi we wish you well my brother mambo yake si mbaya lakini tumweke kwa maombi asanteni sana Mungu awabariki thank you very much eh, mheshimiwa Samson Tragei Kiprotich sasa ningetaka niite umbunge wa Kimiriri Mbunge wa Kimilili yule wa Kofia rafiki yangu vice chairman wa kamati ya barabara yote Kenya mheshimiwa Omwami Titimas Barasa karibu sana Asante sana mheshimiwa Ndidi Nyoro mimi naitwa Didmas Wekesa Barasa watu wa rika yangu huko Kimilili na sehemu yote ya Kenya wao wananiita Didi lakini nikiwa hapa Moranga wananitanga Ndindi. Hakuna tofauti ya Didi na Ndindi. Na nimefurahi kukuwa hapa kwa sababu ya jambo moja. Hii constituency ya Kiharu ilikuwa inaongozwa na mtu anaitwa Ken Matiba. Ile viatu ambayo Ndindi Nyoro alivaa mwaka wa 2017 mimi aga ni confirm kwamba hiyo viatu kijana huyu ametoshea na ametoshea sawa sawa huyo ndindi nyoro ameonesha wa Kenya kwamba uongozi haipatikani kwa mwili ama kwa tumbo lakini uongozi inapatikana kwa kichwa ambayo Mungu aiweka ndani yake hapo kwa sababu ukiangalia historia ya Ndindi Nyoro baba yake alikuwa kapenda kwa slamu huko Thika hata hafai hatoshi hata kuwa mchungaji ya ngombe lakini nyinyi watu wa Kiharu mkatambua ile kitu ambayo iko kwa kichwa yake mkamchagua kama mjumbe wenu and I can tell you what Ndindi Nyoro is doing here in Kiharu 
doesn't it, do, it, it doesn't have an impact only here in Kiharu, but it has an impact in every part of this country because we are also copying so that we can replicate what is doing here to our constituencies across this constitu this country. Mimi ngeomba wale wanaume. We have people in this country who have been fighting CDF every time. Tuko na watu ambao wanafikiria hii CDF iondolewe. Mimi naomba serikali ya William Ruto ichukue hao wanaume ambao wanapinga CDF wakuje watembee hapa Kiharu so that they can see what CDF has done for the last 5 years. Njoo wachana leo ukumbavu ya kupinga